Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough Ballsy time Oh boy, that could be a nasty endeavor, especially with club slots, but, 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 it must be done. <laughs> I must show you the difficulties of Bowser. Alright, let's begin. And, da -da -da -da. Aha. Oh, I actually got a mulligan on the first one, just clicking through them randomly. Uh, let's just try and plop it down over there. I think that's probably a good idea. Ooh, good impact right off the bat, so I don't have to worry about Bowser straying off course, because look how tiny his impact area is over there. Yeah, that could be a problem, and no, nah, I'm not going to mulligan that. That's It's just fine. <laughs> I'm going to try and get this to the left of the hole, and little backspin. That's going to be more left than I wanted because I missed it, but, well... Well, yeah, see how far Bowser gets off track, but it, in this case, I don't think it's that big of a deal, so I'm just gonna kind of... Oh, shoot, I underhit it. I wonder if I should use the mulligan just for the birdie. I don't think so, though, because that's just gonna be one point. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'll just do that. Just save the mulligan for something more important. Like, I don't know, getting getting behind a tree or something, or not being able to make the green in regulation. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> uh, no wind, I'm just gonna try and hit over at that panel, and oh, I nailed it again! Oh, this could be a good day if I'm playing as Bowser and I'm not straying off track that horrendously. Oh jeez, that's, that's too much! <laughs> well, uh, let's see how it turns out. I think if I get some... Turn it well, maybe if I go under it. Can I go like under and around? Whoops, I would need to go. Ah! Yeah! Ah, the whole line of trees is just. <laughs> okay, there we go! <laughs> Let's try that. I'll try and go a little bit past the hole there, off to the left on the flat spot. And I wonder if I should have backspin that. I'm not sure, because I think the the sand is gonna spin it enough. Yeah friction and all like that. <laughs> Alright, a little bit over to the left, way past the mark, and she drops! <laughs> oh yeah, first the birdie of club slots with a Bowser. Oh shoot, I don't have a wedge. <laughs> that could be a problem, we'll see. Uh, mm. Oh, I missed it. That's gonna go right. Well, actually, I don't know. That might help enough. Because, uh, yeah, it'll cut back on my power, and then I'll hit into the green with a driver. Or something like that. We'll see. Uh, yeah, that's actually doable. Okay, so let's see what I can do here. Uh, I'm gonna try and land it just in... Oh, I duffed it. <laughs> well, sort of, kind of. I mean, it's way offline, but... Yeah, that's not really... <laughs> I wanted to hit it so that was... Uh, get out of the approach. Well, actually, maybe... No! I'm gonna have to be out of approach, yeah. But I don't like that small impact area when you go... When you go astray just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's not a duff, but still. See, that's what I mean about the impact. I'm not even gonna bother mulliganing that, because I might just do the same thing, because the awkward, awkwardly small meter. And I aimed... Right directly towards the hole, but I missed hit, so that's... <laughs> I'm just messing this up all up, because... Yeah, just that one sort of kind of getting off track thing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah, Bowser's not the easiest guy to play with, even that he, even though he's got a lot of scoring potential because of his high drive distance. Oh, another mulligan. <laughs> they're just... They're giving Bowser mercy. Uh, I'll try to hit that play panel, just just nick it a little bit to get past the trees. Oh, very nice. Right on the mark. That should get me up the hill, probably. Oh! I didn't think I hit the side of that. Well, well, I'm in okay position, so I will leave it as is. I curve around the tree. I guess I'm not in that okay a position. And, oh, nailed it again. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of style that you need to be playing with if you're playing as Bowser. You gotta be really 
really good on the time near the impact area. And tap in for Birdie. Yeah. I mean, I'm not doing horrendously, but, you know, I could be doing better. <laughs> better if I was playing with a different character, probably. Uh, perfect sweet spot, but, you know, I don't really use auto for anything. So that's as good as getting nothing on the last, the last wheel. And control it with super backspin, because the wind is going to push it far left. And... Yep, yep, yeah. <laughs> that looks good to me. Mm, yep, yep. I don't think I'll have to move that. I'm just going to overhit it. And... the Birdie. There we go. Woo! Well, now watch. The whole, the whole rest of the round, I'm going to be shooting incredibly well. And I won't even need the mulligans. I literally would have been better off using them on some other section of, like, earlier that we've already played. <laughs> Because I, it seems like my timing is doing pretty well now. We'll see how things turn out, though. Hit that thing. Yeah, boost panel! Woo! Well, that's okay, I guess. <laughs> I'm pretty close to the hole, so I'm not really worried about uh, any sort of shenanigans going on here. Just a little bit left of the hole to make way for the wind. Oh, shoot! Big time miss hit there, though. But it's a, it's a shorter shot, so it shouldn't matter as much. Um, I'll continue. I'll, I'll mulligan the putt if I don't get it, but I think... Oh, shoot! <laughs> I oh, way overhit it. I was gonna say, I'll mulligan the putt if I, uh... Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Because I don't... I think I can actually make this. It just I mistimed it. It was only a smidge over to the left and everything, so yeah. It was a pretty easy putt. It was just a matter of that... Yeah, I, I, I really messed up the timing there. And I was, yeah, I was looking at the camera there for a second. Because I thought I heard a beep, but I think that's actually the suction of my uh, earbuds. Uh, wait, wait, I want to feed it in. Yeah, more like that, come to think of it. I just wanted to kind of resist the wind initially, but I don't know. I mean, eh, I, th I think I'm better off just, yeah, curving it around that way regardless of the wind. Because, yeah, you can hit a draw when the wind is left to right to kind of counteract the wind a little bit. And vice versa. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, since I don't have the power of wood, I got I, I to sort of kind of work on positioning here more than anything. Uh, I, I might actually be better off holding back on the power to like put myself in more full shot range of the 5 iron rather than going into it with a lower trajectory, softer shot. Now, we'll see how things turn out with 78 yards. I get, oh yeah, that's right, I got the Approach Wedge. What was I thinking? Approach Wedge is just fine for this. Uh, in fact, it's more than fine, come to think of it, because I'll be able to control it to land on the flat spot and backspin it right back to the hole. There we go, look at that. <laughs> that was actually maybe a little further than I wanted it, because I didn't really aim to get next to the hole like that. <laughs> I just wanted it to be more towards the center. Double pointages there taking advantage of that to the fullest. Well, aside from not eagling. <laughs> uh, extra mulligan again. Wow. That's, as I said before, that's kind of a rarity, so that's kind of a nice thing to see. <laughs> just, uh, because you never know when those club slots are going to mess with you. And that was just a miss hit on my part. Um, you know, I'm just going to continue, because that is a tight enough green as it is, and I'm not sure the result will be any better on my second attempt here. I mean, if I were to go for a second attempt, so... Oh, missed the chip. Mm -hmm. That's also another thing about Bowser, is that it's harder to chip in, because he's got the... He's got the hard... right-to-left draw thing going on, and... <laughs> it's a lot of adjustment on the chip shots. But I'm not too far behind using Bowser anyway in terms of a overall ending score I guess you could say so I think I think I'll be I'll do do just fine here at the end of it Woo! I'm just gonna hit all over the trees because I can and then just kind of plop it down on a nice chunky patch of fairway there even if I would have missed hit that it wouldn't have mattered left or right uh, uh oh oh Oh, yeah, that's a big gapping. <laughs> Between clubs. Well, looks like I'm super backspinning. Let's see how this turns out. Oh, that's a bad miss hit. That's going to be right of the green, actually. 
Oh, and and even shorts. Ugh, ugh, I say, but I'm not. Yeah, I guess I didn't really have the best of best stuff, so I'll just continue on. Like, yeah, I'm just basically basically focusing on more of a. Well, that was actually a pretty bad shot. I was gonna say focus on a more uh, a spot where a mulligan would be more useful. I actually think this would be a more useful place for a mulligan. Because, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna get it close, not do anything fancy, not try and chip it in, and there we go. Oh, 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 oh. I wasn't even trying! <laughs> okay, that worked out. I'm happy I mulliganed that more than ever. And, oh shoot, oh, the water driver and pitching wedge! <laughs> it's like the opposite ends of the spectrum completely. Um, well, if I get it way up there and keep myself center or to the right, it should be fine. Because uh, there's, there's an open... Oh, well, maybe... Ah, it's fine, actually. I was going to say, because there's an open spot over there. But yeah, that, that's good. It'll be just fine. And then I will pitching wedge over that. And I actually need to see the green here for a second to see where I'm aiming. Uh, help me. Help, I'm stuck. No, I, mean, I, I guess I can't use that. Alright, I'll, I'll land it short and topspin it, and hope that it goes the way that I'm thinking it'll go. What I'm going to try and do is run it to the green with the topspin. I'm not sure how well this will actually do, because, well, mm, eh. Yeah, my options were oddly limited there. I didn't think it would be that limited, but they were. But that's the breaks of club slots. <laughs> it helps to know your character's club distances as well, to kind of kind of shimmy them in. That was another bad ship. Wow, I am. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to continue this time. I'm going to go a little bit, a little bit, a little bit to the left. Good bit, good portion past the mark, and in. Yeah, I, I didn't think I'd miss that putt. It was just a matter of I wanted to be careful at that, and I was thinking about a mulligan, but didn't actually go mulligan. Ooh, double points. But I'm going to have to work for it, because I got... Uh, I got the issue of, yeah, no pitching, I mean, no wedge in my bag. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna try hitting those panels. I'm just gonna go off to the right of these, because I don't want to hit, I don't want to land in the water. Although, I think I might end up hitting one of those panels. Ooh, wow, missed hits with Bowser. That's, that's a scary thing. <laughs> Even if it's one notch. Uh, I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm not gonna touch it at all. That looks good to me. And, okay, good strike. This is looking like birdie town. Because it's even going to bounce off that ridge a little bit. Look at that, look at that. Oh! I told you that looked good. The, like, the the draw, and it, I mean, everything would just, like, counteract that wind there. Not the draw, it would be the bounce that would counteract where the ball would land. So, yep. Nice birdie. Nice evil laugh. Evil voice guy approves. And, oh, no! Well, it's a par three, so... We'll see how this turns out. Okay, that's actually the perfect club for this shot. Um, I just want to see where I'm aiming, though. Uh, yeah, actually, maybe I should go power shot on this. And a little past there, because I want to super backspin it. I want it to bounce once, bounce past the hole, and then bounce back in, like, bounce back towards the hole. Because, oh, it didn't bounce back, ah, it didn't bounce past the hole, because, yeah, the the thing about that is that if, I would end up either at the, above the hole or below the hole, and I would prefer to be below the hole, if anything, and well, I ended up above it. <laughs> well, it's a lot of break to pass through here, so, I'm just gonna kinda aim pretty far to the right of the hole there, and trickle it down in there. There we go, and... Begin once again! Another mulligan! <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, hopefully I won't end up in the water! I got a little tentative to end, like I didn't want to hit right at all, so I kind of held back from hitting the center and ended up hitting on the left side of it to push it right. That's okay though. <laughs> it's a little, little bit timid. Uh, it's a power five anyway, so this is okay position. Um... This one, uh, this so much difference between notches. So I think I'm gonna have to just try and control it with the super backspin. Here it goes! Yo! Come back, come back, come back! 
that's pretty good, actually. I think I'm seeing an eagle in my future here. Okay, a little, little smidge over. And way past the mark, because it's uphill. Moved it a little to the left. Mm, eagle for four points! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Alrighty. See, I, as I said, Bowser's got a lot of scoring potential, but it kind of evens out when you have those miss hits, and you're always going to have a miss hit somewhere in there. Uh, not that shot, though. <laughs> The, the idea of using ca a character with a lower, I mean, a weaker impact and control type spot is to aim for the chunkier spots so that miss hits aren't as impactful. But when you when it comes to thinner greens like this, you don't really have much of a choice, do you? You just gotta kinda go for it and hope you hit the mark. And that's basically what I gotta do here. And this is gonna go left of the green now because I miss hit. But yeah, it's just a thing of that I... I gotta do the shot sometimes, and sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Um, but yeah, it's, it's the thing about Bowser is that he's not... He has a lot of potential, but he's not always gonna... gonna perform. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's more on you than the character, but... It's just so hard to get right on the notch every single time. Especially when you absolutely need it in certain, certain circumstances, so... Sometimes it's gonna let you down. <laughs> or you're gonna let yourself down, however you see it. <laughs> I just prefer building or using a character that has a, a better impact area. Ooh, I smoked that one right on the mark. So this is gonna turn out pretty nicely, I think. Oh, maybe it's a little long. Well, uh, I don't think I could get better than that, actually. So I'm not gonna mulligan that. I'm gonna go a smidge over to the right. Good mount past the mark because of the rain, and wow, that was downhill and everything. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should have mulliganed that one, but and, I don't know. I still feel that I might need it. I'll do. I'll go for ooh a double. <laughs> I'll go. I'll do something. I mean, I'll go for the mulligans when I'm trying to do something spectacular. I guess. <laughs> I just, uh oh, or maybe I'll uh, use it for this. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a good idea because his miss hits are scary to miss hit on. Okay, I'm gonna play this a little safer now. And now I hit this one right, <laughs> which may end up in the trees. It is gonna end up in it. Oh, it actually bounced off the tree. Um, one more time. <laughs> I know I just burned them all, but. Seriously, I can't let can't let myself be that far back like from any sort of okay There we go like from any sort of trouble like I didn't know if the tree was in my way And I wasn't gonna let myself end up in the water due to those. Yeah. Oh, no, not well actually rain might help All right, so all my mulligans are gone, but with my luck this round I, I might just get a bunch more to burn <laughs> Oh, That's a miss hit I think it's still going to be on the green, though, because the green is pretty chunky. Uh, but it's not going to be anywhere close to the hole. Yeah. Uh, I might be able to pull it off if I move it a little bit over to the left. Maybe a little more. And way past the mark, because it's uphill and in the rain. Holy poopers! <laughs> wow, the rain really, really slows it down on these greens. Uh, there we go. Alright, I'll accept that. That was just a, a terrible hole for me. <laughs> Alright... There's the mulligan! <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting so many. Like, on that other round you've seen, they were pretty rare. I was only getting... I, I only got one the whole round, didn't I? So it's, it's like, yeah, I don't know where they're coming from here. They're just kind of falling in place <laughs> as I'm mashing through the buttons. On a one turtle open sleigh. Uh, I'm gonna try and go uh, all the way around and feed it in there because this is a power five and I see opportunity! Yeah! Now I just wanted to hit the rough. Just gotta hit the rough so then it'll end up pretty good. Ooh, yeah! Because <laughs> the rough was key there because I wasn't really gonna make it otherwise. 
uh, you know, if I would hit the fairway, it would went over, so I was aiming to land it on the rough. I am going to put it a smidge, just a smidgey smidge to the left, a little bit past the mark. That might be too much. It was. Well, I'll save the mulligan for the last hole. <laughs> Because I'm pretty, still pretty happy with a birdie. Still would have been nicer to Eagle. But I'm not going to get anywhere close to a score that I did with Ouija. No win, double... Oh yeah, because it's the last hole. <laughs> okay, um, we're going to go and try and feed it down into the chunk. Left to right, as best we can. It's still not going to change it that much because, you know, he's got a really strong draw. But it's just a matter of keeping it in line as best we can. That's not bad. I'll keep it and see how I can get, see how close I can get this one here. I might not even need the uh, mulligan for all we know. Actually, look, this looks pretty good here. Uh, yeah, look at that. I nailed it right on the mark. I guess I could mulligan and try and chip it in, but I don't know. I think I'm better off. Oh, Coopers. I think I'm better off using the mulligan on the putts. And just going for the birdie if need be. Okay, a little, little bit over to the right, a little right on the mark, and I didn't need it. <laughs> That's okay with me. 59 points again. If you'd like to post the score of yourself doing this, go right ahead and post it. So with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.